So I think most of us are used to using single or double quotes around string literals like this. But have you heard of temperate literals with backticks? Today on Browser Native, we're going to talk about template literals. Bob, how about you show us an example? Absolutely. In fact, I'll admit that I got confused by this the first time I saw it. I was like, what the heck is this? Right? Yeah, me too. And me too. I was coding kind of like the, the comment that says the old way, right? Where I would yeah. concatenate everything and just put all these plus signs in the middle. So hard and to read. <clears throat> so hard to read. It is really hard to read. So uh, once I figured it out, I discovered that template um, string literals, or they're, they're technically called template literals, um, they're delimited with back ticks instead of single or double quotes. And then you can put a dollar sign and squigglies and inside the squigglies, you can put, that's a technical term, right? Squiggly. It is absolutely <laughs> inside there. You can put any JavaScript expression. Right. So if you look at my example here, uh, with the string template and without there, I'm just putting a and B in there, which are one and two, and here's the result. So you can see. Yep. And we put the we'll put the URL of this sample in the comments so you can go check it out. But anyway, that is much more readable, I think. Yep. It almost reminds me of React. I don't know. It what do does, you think? A little bit. Yeah, it does. It's very similar. It's not um, quite. No, no, but it's just so much easier to know to read and to understand where the variables are gonna be replaced. I mean, and for those of us who write C sharp. They have this sort of similar thing where you put the dollar sign at the beginning of the quoted string, and then you right. can use the braces inside and it'll replace what's inside of the braces. It's very similar. So this feels like a good transition. Like it just is nice and simple and clean to read. You, you know, it's not confusing. It's not like the C sharp C for the formatter function where you put the placeholders with like the zero one two. And then yeah, oh, all that the was way at really the end. cryptic. Yeah. That's the off. That's the most. I'd rather one. do the concatenation, honestly. Me too. Thing. Agreed. Agreed. So yeah, if, I think this is super powerful. Of course, there's always a slippery slope. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. And the slippery slope is now you have to escape. You have to have a way of escaping certain right. characters inside of the back tick thing. And if you used to like to use double quotes so that you could put an apostrophe in your string. Well, mm -hmm. you can put your apostrophes, but if you ever need a back tick, well, so yeah. um, it uses the backslash type uh, notation. So backslash back tick, say mm -hmm. that three times fast, or backslash dollar sign is another one that you suddenly need to escape. And of course, backslash backslash and yes, all those fun yes. things. So you got to deal with that. Yeah, Something I, I've, I'm fine with it though. I like it. I, I'm happy. Something I love, though, is the um, multi-line. So you can actually hear at the bottom, I've got a multi-line template string. And again, it starts feeling almost like React, where I can put my markup in there and, and put it kind of nice. And um, it's going to it's going to just ignore the extra space so that it comes back, you know, the HTML in this case, it just kind of works. But Right, which is the React-like feel. It's actually the JSX, TSX. Correct. Location. It's not actually React yeah. itself. It's the JSX TSX that it's kind of similar to. Yep. Agreed. I think it's just an implementation of maybe. So these are awesome, but what if I wanted something really custom, some custom way to format a string? You got anything? That is a that? great question. And I'll tell you a good question is a question I know the answer to. <laughs> Uh, and that you a have a sample great, built for? A great question is a question I have a demo for, right? Ah, oh, oh, nice. <laughs> so well, let's see it. Here it is. So um, in this case, you know, I got to admit this is a cool feature, but I I had to kind of contrive the example. So if if you look at this example, I've made a shout function that just kind of yells at you. It 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 makes some of the stuff into uppercase. And if you look down towards the bottom, I'm going to shout. And I put the word shout before the first back tick without any spaces or parentheses or anything. So I'm going to say shout, did you know the mascot name is a blank mascot species? And so what you get back is, you know, did you know Parker is a porcupine, <laughs> right? It shouts it at you. So, so that's what that is. But the important thing is the template function itself. So you can see shout there. And you get your template function gets called with the first argument is always an array, which is all the little pieces of strings that were between the templates. 
And then it gives you each one of the template arguments or expression results as an argument. So you can see here, I'm actually using a template string literal inside of my template function just because I can and I want it to be extra difficult about it. So I'm just taking and returning those little string fragments and the name, but I'm, I'm shouting the name by turning it into uppercase. That's so. very cool. It's I actually cool. saw a use of this. So uh, I have mentioned several times on several different things that I've been exploring web components. And there is a, uh, I'm going to call it a helper library. I don't want to really call it a framework, but I'm going to call it a helper library called Lit. And yeah. Lit has a, um, it has a, um, a sub component that handles HTML string concatenation and the way that it works is to create a template function they named html so you type nice. html backtick, backtick and then your html with your strings replacing and you can replace function calls and click events and all that kind of stuff and it's html uh template literal function manages the string concatenation for that and it's super powerful and very cool so i think there are use cases for it it's just going to take some new imagination for where it's uh useful yeah well thanks for pointing that out so i was going to ask i've i've i found this out when i was researching the video and yep. i've never actually used it so yeah if people out there in youtube land uh i would love to know if you have ever yeah. used uh, Comments, any of these creative uses for this. creative uses, like what uses have you found for template functions? Um, or did you even know they existed? Yeah. And what other topics would you like to see? I want to thank you for watching this video, by the way. Um, please, if you enjoyed the video, if you got something out of it, give us a like. And we'd love it if you subscribe to the Voitanos channel so that you'll get notified of all the new videos. And um, Please check out the sample and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.